to firewalls, I think it's important to note here that firewalls come in various form factors. The uh, stateless firewalls we can think of as one of sort of three categories. A stateless firewall is not really a firewall. Stateless means that there is no there is no uh, connection event stored in the firewall. What's also important to remember with relation to firewalls is that firewalls need to be resistant to attacks. And also worth noting is that firewalls typically are placed in between zones of a network architecture. Those of you that are uh, security administrators use a variety of zones, right? Those being sort of outside, inside, and, and maybe even a DMZ zone to actually protect your network uh, elements and your data flows and things like that. Stateful firewalls, which are different than stateless firewalls, do basically traffic uh, connection-oriented events uh, and actually keep track of the traffic flows going in and out of the network. So instead of doing it on a packet-by-packet -packet basis, which is how a stateless firewall does it with access control list, either standard or extended, stateful firewalls actually keep state information about connection events between some endpoint on the inside of the network and some resource on the outside of the network. Next generation firewalls effectively map or have more granular examination features on a connection by connection basis. So for example, uh, an ASA, just a standard uh, Cisco adaptive security appliance, would not natively have the ability to look at uh, which URL you're actually going to out on the internet. But a next generation firewall could not only know that, but it could also know what application protocols you're actually using to get to that uh, resource uh, out on the internet, and then uh, manage that effectively from a application visibility, uh, malware inspection, file inspection perspective, so next generation firewalls combine together many of the features um, related to securing our uh, traffic flows in and out of the network. Intrusion prevention systems, which are a little bit different than firewalls, but can also be incorporated into a firewall. So for example, you can actually have a firewall that has an IPS subsystem built into it, uh, provide a deeper analysis of traffic flows and it's important to note that they come in, in three basic form factors or three basic mechanisms to actually inspect the traffic. So signature-based is where we compare traffic to a database of known attack patterns. So uh, this is also sometimes referred to as rule-based or pattern-based matching. Anomaly-based is where we basically build out a statistical model of what normal traffic looks like and then when we have anomalies occur inside of our network, which are captured by sensors, we, we then throw up alarms and basically say, hey, we, we might have a problem out here. Um, and then policy-based is where we basically take um, effectively our security document and we uh, translate that into a series of policies that we want our, ID, our IPS systems to effectively evaluate in terms of traffic flows in and out of the network. So <clears throat> now, as I said, uh, firewalls and uh, IPS systems can actually be uh, combined in a single appliance. Uh, in fact, that's what a, a next generation firewall is, <clears throat> excuse me, is it's effectively a marriage of uh, stateful uh, firewall connection oriented events and also IPS systems uh, that uh, examine traffic more granularly. 